Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, uh, today is uh, the 29th of uh, January uh, 2013 and the time in London is uh, 2036 in New York 1536pm. Uh, uh, happy trading to you all. This is a practical uh, uh, trading uh, okay, review for TSTW uh, traders. All right, we are looking at the Euro USD. Okay, on the uh, now I'm on the three minute chart, uh, my favorite uh, crazy time frame. Uh, I'm going to go now to the weekly chart. Okay, trade review for TSD traders. Going to the weekly chart. Okay, moment please. I'll get there. My lines are still here. Okay, if you have been following us, you understand uh, these lines that I have here on this chart. I will remove uh, some of them that are not important. So I will remove. Uh, this one, but uh, all of you who are following us should know this line. The top one is the high of last week. The red line here, that's what? That's uh, the media line of last Friday. And the pink one is what? The media line of uh, last week. Uh, the turquoise line here, that's the low of last Friday. And the blue line here, that's the low of last week. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to remove also this uh, blue vertical line. This is about a video that I recorded yesterday, but today I'm recording another video, okay? All right, so let's, now, now we know what we have. So we know the red, what is the red, okay? There is another one here that I have um, in black. I will remove it uh, from uh, the previous video, but uh, everything else is intact right here. The psychological price level on a daily chart is the red line here, okay? The psychological price level on the weekly chart is the pink line here, all right? So, for today, we want to review the trade for today. So, I'm going on the... Um, okay, I'll go back again to my three-minute chart, all right? If you allow me to do that. Okay, this is on the three-minute chart, and I'm going to put uh, a vertical line moment please it's coming up okay I'm going to put a vertical line um, where the day has started somewhere uh, okay. call it 1 1 a.m. 1 a.m. okay to that's uh, what's the time now in London the time in London now as I said yes that's correct. One second, please. Sir. One second, please. Okay, 29. Uh, yeah, somewhere here. It's not bad. We choose this uh, vertical line. And I will color it uh, into blue. All right. Stay with us. I'm a bit slow now, but uh, I'm going to catch up very fast. Going fast, fast, fast. All right. Okay, that's it. Okay, this is today's session. Okay, we want to review this trade, what has happened. So, we can see that uh, during the Asia session, in fact, uh, the video that I posted yesterday, you'll see it also. It's about uh, five steps, okay, to avoid the trading mistake. That was the video that I posted yesterday. That's uh, the drawing from yesterday, the 28th. Okay, was this session I was reviewing because uh, to avoid trading mistake at the end of the day or at the end of uh, the trading session, we must okay review our trade to see what has happened. All right, you will do that every day, and this will allow you to improve your ability to trade. So we can see that during the Asia session, when I was recording the, the, the previous video. Uh, the euro was going down. You, if you watch that video, you see that I was saying to you that uh, we sell the euro. And when the euro was going down, look what it did today. The euro just came down and stopped where? On the dot where? On the media line of last Friday. Now you see what I was telling you, that uh, professionals are trading around key levels, okay? Amateurs, okay, or new traders or beginners are trading the indicators. Though TST trading tool, okay? All TST trading tool, okay, has their own indicators, but we want to pay attention to the price shelf, the number one indicator, all right? So, 
or if you want to take a bullish signal, we want to take a bullish signal in a rising channel at a valid support level. As the price going up, we want to know where is the next resistance level. So here you see the price, uh, you can see it was a gorgeous move, you see. A low, a lower low, blah, 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 up, down, another low, a low. Now you look what's happened. Suddenly the music has changed. This is how you're going to read the price yourself. Though you are using indicator, you want to pay attention to the price. Suddenly the music is changing. But the interesting thing about this is that <laughs> though the music is changing here, if you are day trader, you will take some profit, of course. But sometimes if you are swing trader, you may be stubborn and uh, maybe some profit will go away. It happens sometimes. So the music is changing, which means the price okay instead of displaying lower lows lower high he start displaying okay higher lows higher high look another one here this is the language of the price so but the next question we want to ask is what causes okay what causes the music to change you see so whenever you see a bullish signal or a bearish signal or a bullish pattern or a bearish pattern you want to ask yourself what the source, what's the cause, what's the origin of it. Here we can see clearly that this is a psychological price level. The price was going down all day long. Also check the clock. Let's look at the clock. Where, when this was happening, okay? Look on the, okay, the top left hand corner of this screen, somewhere here. I'm going to move my hand somewhere here. Watch, keep watching that area. You see the time when the music starts changing. Uh, that's 624 all right that's new york time 624 because this software is using the new york time uh, 624 uh, plus 5 that's um, 1224 london time uh no no plus 5 plus 5 is 1124 so let's move on here watch keep watching that session now it's 803 that's new york time that's a 103 london time look here moving again watch the watch the, the top left hand corner 909 i hope you can see on your screen that's what nine minutes past 2 p.m london time he just when new york is about to open you see that's when the music is changing where on the dot right here and he just ran fast there were some bad news also for okay 1 30 1 30 london time 8 30 eastern time important economy news can change the dynamics of the market traders were selling the euro until that news was released around 1 30 pm london time that's 8 30 okay let's see it where is it you see where it's check the clock it's 8 15 there if i move my thing that's 8 33 on the screen i'll try to get it exactly at 8 30. that's it that's 8 30 you see look on the top left hand column of the screen below the yellow writing that your usd below it you see tuesday the first january 29 13 8 30 0, 0. that's when the news are released if you are trading for us all right or you are trading a london session 8 30 this is the time when the news will come out and the news can change the dynamics of the market so you may see a technical signal but if the news is different from what the technical is saying to you, it can change the dynamics of the market. Yes, trader was selling the euro. Myself, I was selling the euro. But you can see roll it down near the psychological pass level. If you are a day trader, you know that you should time to take some profit. Now the music has changed. So we are paying attention to the clock and we are paying attention to the economy news it does not mean that if the economy news is bearish we start selling if the bullish we start buying no all we are doing we are acknowledging the economy news so for instance we don't want to have too many position opens okay we don't want to have too many position open when the news is about to release we want to control the risk in case the news is working against us we don't wipe out our trading account all right this is the key we are not trading the news, but we want to know when the news is going to be released, what impact the news will have on the market, and how can we adjust to that news, accommodate for the news, so that we do not end up, okay, on a wrong, so to speak, on the wrong side of the market, all right? So you will be, 
Also, another thing very important for traders, you have to understand that very often, okay, when a market is open, there is a sentiment during that time. When another market is about to open, there can be a change in the sentiment. Very often you'll see that. So day traders, professional day traders, very often will bank majority of their profit before New York will open. Because they are preparing for a new market to open. So they will wait for the opening bell for New York, and then they will start again trading, all right? If you want to keep some position open, which myself I do, I want to know what is taking place, and uh, if, I, if I sense that something can get, can put my trades, okay, in a mess, I may decide to close it, or I may decide to reduce my losses, or I may open another position somewhere else to hedge my position. Or, if I want to be courageous, which means, thoughtfully, consciously, I decided to stay in the market and I'll just uh, wait and see what's going to happen, which means I'm willing to take loss or gain depending on what is the outcome. All right, you see? So this is why we say the trader is the most important trading tool. So apart from your trading tool, you want to understand the market and how you can make a trading decision in the current environment, okay? what the market was doing, what is about to take place, so you can make excellent decision. But the key point of this uh, market review, you see how the price stopped at the key level. It's not magic level, but it's a very important level, and professionals are watching it. They take it from here, where do they bring it? Look, they, they, they high, they took profit here. All right? Another thing I say to you, between two lines, we have what? The middle line, so we are watching it, okay? So we are watching the midline of the two-level. You see some here, there was a resistance around the middle line somewhere here. Between the blue line and the red line, the middle line somewhere here, you see? How high the price was stuck here. All right, so now we are above, you see this one here. Okay, now what's happening now? Okay, let me see, watch it, okay? We are above the high of last week, okay? So we see to the price, give us the first high low. On this three minute chart, this is it. This is the first high low. All right. You have to be very careful when you are trading like this and uh, you have to minimize your risk carefully. So you may say this is the first hello. Okay, good, you see now? So you may take it here yeah, and say, okay, this is the first hello on this three chart. And then you will put your stop loss here. Look at the clock, you have to always check the clock. What's the clock? Yeah, the time, the time. You want, anytime you, you are about to enter the train, check the clock. In exactly, okay? 11 minutes time, New York will be closed. So what's going through your mind? A lot of traders, that American trader, will be adjusting their portfolio. Take profit, close some trade, because the market is about to close, there are some activity happening in the market, and sometimes signal can fail because of the time of the day. But looking on your left-hand side, look, though we have the first high low, there's another information here. There was a top. And there was another top, okay, you see here? All right, so there is a resistance here. On the, in three minute chart, did not deny it. In fact, third time, yeah. So if you are taking this one, you know, you may decide to take something or watch it, you see? So you don't ignore the information on your left hand side. Though we are above it, there is a resistance here. Um, which I will call now into black, okay? So my line does not change. You see? The same level, all right? You see now, this is about a trade review, okay? For today, uh, for TST, okay, traders, okay? You see now? Let's go for instance to a very friendly time frame, the hourly time frame, okay? And all we're going to do here, we're going to draw lines, okay? So in yesterday, I was telling, talking to you about the market pattern. It is very important to pay attention to. So the price was consolidating here. And I was telling you that uh, now it was a breakout and the market would prefer it to retest the top of the consolidation zone. But look, the, the, instead of retesting the top, the market came back and retest the top of, uh, okay, the media line right here. If you watch that video, you will see that I was talking about that. The only thing that it takes me longer to post the video, which I'm still waiting for, 
uh, to post on YouTube. So my apology for that. A bit of delay. So you're going to see two videos uh, being posted at the same time almost today. All right. Okay. So they call this breakout retest, and they took it up this level. All right. This is what we see. So let's start drawing line. So there was a consolidation level. You see, ups down, ups down, ups down. This is a breakout now. A pullback. Well, okay. Just follow the price. I don't want to get into say anything different. This point and this point allow me to draw this line, which I'm going to color now. I'll color it also into black again. This point and this point allow me to draw this point and this point allow me to draw the black line, which the price came to retest. I was talking about this yesterday. Okay, in that video you will see also. So now uh, today is uh, 29. Yesterday was 28. So it's tested here on the dot. Took it up now. Okay, fine. Okay, we can draw another line. We don't want to lie to ourselves. We just draw lines. Okay, don't be afraid. Just draw them. Look, look what's happening now. I'll call it that one. Um, um sh should I use red? Uh, okay, I'll use green this time. This point and this point allow me to draw the green line, which the prior did retest it here. Okay. Now look where we are. Where are we now? We are again on the edge of that uh, green trend line. Some that's why some traders are giving the euro hard time. Okay. But remember the prior break above the previous high, the high of last week is bullish. But if he come back below that high and start giving us lower, lower lows, lower high, is bearish. Always the price will move in a channel, and we want to know which channel. Here we can see that we went into consolidation mode again, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so the ball is still here, but. Look, the green trend line, we are again touching the edge of the green line. So, for us to be bullish, just following the price, myself, I would prefer the price to come in this session here, between the black and the green, above it nicely here. Sometimes the price may be going below like this though, but I would prefer to come in this session, okay? But watch it, at least above the black line, okay? around the 13495 okay break above retest turn around if it's going to continue the movement to the upside but right now we are stuck below the green trend line you see the how the trend line can allow you to make excellent decision so draw them and just wait for it you see here it's suppose you have the black one you just see it you see only you can take profit see look between the 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 median line of last friday and this trend line a gorgeous place yes or no I believe some traders took it there nicely, okay? So you are proud of yourself. You've done it yourself. You can be proud of yourself, okay? I haven't done it for you. You've done it yourself. You can be very, very proud of yourself, okay? This is how we want to do it and following the price. Though we are using indicator, we want to take signal, okay, at what we call the anchor point or hot spot of the zone. Okay, this one here, this one here. This one again here because the price is now retesting. Okay, the green one. It's another hot spot in the zone. Okay, you see now. We can continue to draw a line on this chart, and you'll be amazed what we can do with this information alone. So I'm just drawing one roughly here. Okay. So I'm doing this so to encourage traders to draw lines. Okay. So here. There's another green one. So, for instance, repeat, for instance, if you start rolling it down instead of going up, okay, we will watch this green one here. Or it can come on at the junction here. It may roll it to the junction here, or it may just roll it to the green one here. If you are trading. So, I can have my lines like this on this time frame, and then just go now and say to myself, I want to play on a one minute chart, okay? But I'm not going to play on a one minute chart anyhow. I'm going to use the line that I've drawn a higher time frame and play on a one minute chart around those key levels. Professional. 
will trade around key levels. You will see them sometimes on YouTube. This is one thing that I've noticed. Professional will be showing a video. And they will be on, for instance, on one minute, on two minutes, on three minutes. But they are not just playing on one minute. They are playing on one minute, but around key levels that are, okay, highlighted from the higher time frame. So you can see my green, you see, this is my green uh, moment, please. Hold on a second. You see, this is my uh, black line, uh, okay, on the hourly chart, this trend line. You see what the price is on the one minute chart? So I can come in one minute chart, which means I want to zoom into what is happening now. And I can see what's happening. I know where I am. This is the media line of last Friday. And I'm seeing this higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. I will watch it because there's another middle line above here. So I'll say maybe it will be stopping somewhere here. I may join them and buy somewhere, maybe this one. And when it's coming to the middle line, I may take some profit and wait for the next one. Okay, you see, he break above it, he pull back where? On top again, somewhere, you see this one trying to come, okay, on top. You'll take it again, up, okay? Steadily. You don't want to lose, that's your priority. Yeah? You can say 100, I don't want to lose. Okay, that's your priority, okay? So you see now, this is a trade review, okay, for TSTW uh, traders, okay? I hope you have enjoyed this video that you will put into use, okay, to make, uh, okay, excellent decision. Speak to you soon. We are the TSTW uh, 24 uh, traders.